as we speak. Remember, Jacqueline Fernandez was set to appear in the 200 crore extortion case at the Patiala High Court in a little while from now. We're learning that the ED is set to oppose her bail plea when she appears before the Patiala House Court at about 10 a.m. So these, these are reports that we're receiving from what was going to be the ED's legal team. Just to bring you a few more details about this case so we can give you a little bit of context. Uh, the Bollywood actor was set to appear in this case. It's all concerning, remember, the con man Sukesh Chandrasekhar. Uh, the case involved money laundering, which Chandrasekhar had uh, allegedly been involved with. The ED had named Jacqueline as an accused. Uh, let's go over to my colleague Ashish right now to understand. Ashish, we're just sharing with our audiences that the ED is likely to oppose her bail application. First, a simple question for you. What is that likely to mean for Jacqueline? And second, a more complex question, how foolproof, how solid is the ED's case? What are the chances of them getting what they desire here? So here, you know, she has been named as an accused in the supplementary charge sheet. Uh, based on that, this, uh, the court decided to summon her today. And in all likelihood, the team of the legal team of uh, uh, Jacqueline Fernandez is going to file a bail application. So my sources in the enforcement directorate tell me in case a bail application is filed, the enforcement directorate is going to certainly oppose that bail and look forward for her jail. So there is a chance that in case the court decides, then Jacqueline Fernandez can can go behind the bars. But the uh, court decides that she goes behind the bars, she gets the bail. So in all likelihood, the legal team of Jacqueline Fernandez is going to move for a bail and that will be opposed by the enforcement directorate. Okay, but uh, tell us more over here, Ashish. What are the what are the chances that uh, that uh, what the ED wants will actually go through? That she'll fail to move her bail application. So it's it's, it's you know it's very difficult to comment on this. Reason hmm. being that it's absolutely on the prerog the prerogative of the the court. The court decides on the seriousness of the of the crime. But obviously, the, the, the charge sheet that has been filed by enforcement directorate, it holds merit. That is why cognizance has been taken by the court. <coughs> Excuse me. And they have basically given ample evidence to show that Jacqueline Fernandez purposely chose to turn a blind eye despite knowing uh, criminal antecedents of Sukesh Chandrasekhar. So here, let's see how things move forward. But my, my sources in the enforcement directorate tell me that in case bail is applied, bail is filed by the, the legal team of Jacqueline Fernandez, then enforcement directorate is certainly going to oppose that. Okay, we'll go over now to our colleague Ananya Bhatnagar who covers uh, the court's proceeding. He's with us right now. Ananya, just in an attempt to be able to give our audiences more details here, how likely is it, you've covered the court for years now, how likely is it uh, that the court will listen to the ED? What are usually uh, the way that such things play out in the court? Well, uh, see, what happens in such kind of cases is when the accused is not arrested uh, uh, before the charge sheet, filing of the charge sheet, uh, it's generally a parlance of law that uh, the accused files a bail application first, an interim protection is granted, and then uh, a reply is sought from the enforcement directorate. And as Ashish was also pointing it out, the ED will definitely oppose this uh, bail application if at all it is moved today. But uh, as we are getting to know uh, from our sources, and in fact, uh, the legal team of Jacqueline Fernandez has reached the Patiala House court they are deliberating holding meetings uh, ahead of this crucial hearing that is to take place however Jacqueline has not appeared uh, here, here so far uh, but what is very very crucial to notice that the judge into this particular case has recently been uh, changed because there was a transfer a routine transfer that had happened and special NIA judge Praveen Singh uh, got replaced with uh, in fact um, special NIA judge Shalendra Malik uh, so uh, in fact uh, the team would uh, be appearing first for first for the first time before uh, this particular judge and they might uh, also uh, think of anticipating how the judges and the tone and tenor of the hearing today in order to mm, do their next move. So what is very, very likely is that they would be observing uh, the proceedings today and uh, might not move a bail application. But then if if at all um, the, they feel and they think that uh, the, it is the right time, they might move a bail application, which the, definitely the enforcement director would oppose to and would definitely, uh, in fact, uh, seek a bail into this particular uh, uh, Jacqueline is likely to move a bail application, but uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to how things proceed into this particular case. Okay, all right. Ananya, thank you for bringing us those details. For our audiences, we're obviously going to keep a keen eye on all of those proceedings. For now,